Okay, so here we are. Power struggle. I've dealt out all the cards. Um, and the cash and such. Huh? We end up with the first player actually holding the communications position as well as holding the chairmanship. Nice combination. The chairman's ability doesn't add in, but it gives him a boost. Uh, he'll be able to... If nobody places up here, he'll get first chairman pick. That's not too great. Um, everybody also has their peanuts, some 800,000 of them, which is a goodly amount. And if you look over at these, so for example, he has to beat Vladimir over here in main department corruption and council. He just has to score better than uh, he does in those positions. Now, the type, if, if they're tied, that's not better unless they're up in the gold space. Um, he's got the first position to pick something. This is kind of a tough call. You know, you kind of have to decide, well, what am I going to be doing? Well, if I had influence, I would be worried more about getting the chairman's seat or up here. But I don't believe that's a, a very good idea overall. So what I'm interested in is council, main departments, and corruption. None of those are particularly call out to any one position. So do I want to just go with communications? Nah. Um, I kind of like human resources as an initial place. So I'm going to drop my piece in there and I get three free people for that. Why is human resources so good? Because it allows you to get additional uh, um, employees as the motivation goes down. Since I have communications at the beginning of the game, I'm going to be the guy who's stacking the deck. So I'm going to have some control over where the motivation level is going to be. And that's, that's actually really probably the most powerful thing communication could do, is they get to control when motivation swings uh, positive, or if it does, in any given time. Uh, let's take a look at what this guy has. So he wants to beat uh, this guy over here. He wants shares, department, and council. Well, out of those, accounting is very interesting for shares. So I'm going to throw my position over in the accounting We go over to him. And he's interested in influence, main department, and corruption, and beating her. I don't know what she has, but you know, uh, influence. Influence is an interesting one. Again, being on the board is very useful for that. But do you want to start out with the being on the board? I'm going to say, yeah, we're going to take the first seat on the board. That's going to get us a big jump on influence at the beginning of the game. Uh, it seems like a worthwhile position. Red shares corruption council. So now comes the question, do I fight over accounting or do I go for another position where I can get the lead on it? I think I'm going to go for another position because that might scare people away from that. Uh, Controlling's kind of nice because it gives you extra cash at the beginning. Communications gives you a lot of power over what's going to happen. Development is a dicky action where you get to knock other people out. I don't remember what legal and patents is. Uh, ah, you can get influence yourself. Well, I'm going to go for controlling and just grab that out. And then we come back here. He's interested in influence, shares, and corruption. Again, because of the influence, legal and patents doesn't seem like a bad choice for him. Now, because this is done in a serpentine fashion, he gets to choose the next one. I'm not going to go through every one of these decisions. I want to save some time, uh, so I'll come back and show you what the board looks like afterwards. I don't know how much I'm saving here. Black went through, uh, grabbed himself a seat on the board because he's interested in that influence. Uh, over here, second pick was development. 
basically both red and green have filled out the top row with the thought of, you know, if I'm the only person competing, at this point, maybe nobody's really interested in it. You know, i got to keep thinking, though. Um, his interest is shares, main department, and counts. Now, does anybody have their own? Because that could throw a weird... No, everybody's got someone else. It's kind of a shame that nobody has their own because they can throw things a little different. You'd still want to focus on the areas you're interested in, but you got to beat everybody, but only in two of the areas. So that kind of changes the dynamics. Um, shares, department, and council. Well, I don't particularly want to be in a second in the same place. Um, I'm going to go over here for a shot at controlling because for the shares I need more cash, right? And now yellow, main department corruption council. I got the thing I'm most interested in. competing for communications I like the uh, I like the idea of this combine uh, the combination of communications and human resources if I can keep that over a period um, now I get to play a third piece and now here's the thing I could guarantee more or less guarantee myself communications by putting another department there or likewise human resources really dominate that but I'm interested in council so I kind of want to have people spread out amongst different positions development is an interesting position allowing you to grab an extra piece I'll go into competition for that blue here I'm good on accounting do I want control of controlling? Or would I rather spread out? Uh, I'm obviously going to die to think, to help me make decisions here. What is legal and patent? Legal and patent lets me get influence more easily. Influence is a nice track, it's fairly easy, but eh, I don't feel too desiring of that. So I'm going to go either for human resources, legal and patents, or controlling. I'm going to go into legal and patents. Right, legal and patents let me, lets you get influence too, though. Yeah, I'm not too interested in that. I'm going to put an extra piece in controlling. That's important to me getting the cash. Puts us here, influence, main department, corruption. Right now I've got the victory here. I'll go into the human resources. That's overall an important position. And if nobody's taking second place in that, that seems valuable. Red. Shares Corruption Council. We got the development. Got this. I'd like to take second place over in accounting. Grab myself a little bit more. Some opportunity of getting power there. And then our final influence shares corruption. Well, I'm getting this away for free. I've got that. Oh. Uh, I'll put myself in accounting as well, thereby filling that out. Now normally the chairman would get his special ability here, uh, but that's not allowed on the first turn of the game. So we dismiss the chairman, there isn't one that doesn't happen, we appoint a new chairman. There's a tie here, so green being leftmost goes forward, black moves into the chief seat. Uh, it's time to determine the divisional heads. 
Now we're going to look at each one and essentially here red and yellow are tied. They both have the same amount of people and the same amount of employees. Red's on top so red is going to get the development card. Now in two players or maybe even three it's less likely that you'll fill all of these out so whoever holds these is more likely to get one of them. Here same situation yellow takes the top green here blue over here holding these cards is not so important at the beginning of the game when you're playing with the, uh, an actual number of players that the game supports. But in two it can be pretty important and even in three I could see one of these holding open. Now here blue has more meeples so he gets the card. And now we exchange cards around. Um, and let's just pull them all off the board because it'll just be easier that way. Development. Who has development? Red has development. So red will get that card. Yellow uh, legal and patents is blacks. Human resources is yellows. Okay. Communications went to green. Accounting goes to blue. Controlling goes to blue, nice combination, and the chairman goes to green. So we got a nice distribution out of this. Sometimes, you know, somebody might run away with three of them or something, and that would be kind of weird. Okay. That's handing out the privilege cards. Now we score influence points. Green gets two influence points, and you're going to be wasting meeples on these tracks. Countermix is important in the game. Whereas black only gets one, and no one else gets any. And you can see the game kind of is going to progress. Uh, you are going to come to a finish at some point, just because these points can't be taken away, and people are going to be aiming for them. Uh, the motivation marker goes back to six if it was somewhere else. The event cards get sorted. Well, I think I've shuffled these, and our current communications is over here, green. It's to pull three, four, five, six. Now these get shuffled each turn. And my interest is to make some additional money in the directors in the uh, bonus payment if possible. If not, I might just fire it off first. The Moron card. I don't want to play that. Uh, I'm not planning on necessarily resigning right away. Um, I've got some motivation penalties. Those don't really help me. Unless I get off a bribe, uh, they're not terribly interested, interesting to me. But there is a corruption event, which is a bribe. This one, each board member pays money. That sounds like a good card to start things off with, so I'm going to open my deck up with that. And I'll put that face up because that'll end up on the top of the board. Why? Because there's one person on the board already. Birthday. It's the senior president. The chairman and each divisional head pay money. Hmm. Uh, I got two of these. I'd rather not pay that money. I'm going to put that in my discard pile. <laughs> um... I think I want some actions. So this is, uh, let's see, we've got one, two, three, four, five. This would be the sixth card. The question is, do I want to put this motivation, you know, somewhere stupid? No, not really. Um, so now, do I want these motivations to be a bonus? Am I planning on bribing for a motivation is kind of the question, a motivational factor. And yeah, I quite possibly um uh, I want to influence it. I'm not really set up for it. Hmm. Wonder why I Oh, this is green. 
Yeah, green did not set up for influence. Weird. Ah, they've got some up there with the chairman. So I might want to resign a position, but the problem is these positions have people in them. Uh, it's a hard, hard decision. Do I want to just take the cash right off, or do I want to let uh, some plays take event? take effect before I do it. I'm going to just throw the money right off, put these here, and I have generated my deck that I'm going to have in play. And somewhere or another I've got to get myself something to note, because it's possible this person could lose both the communication power and their position on there. And they're still the first player for every one of the cards here. Okay, let's see what the starting play has here. So green's our communications person. They have the little crystal that indicates they're going first. We flip over an event. And each member of the board has to pay $100,000. That's going to be just black. That's just kind of a, a dinky play, but, you know, you know it doesn't hit you. Might as well make sure. Maybe you take a board position later on because you're very interested in the influence. Um, Alright, now starting with this player, each player's got an action and none of my abilities particularly help me. I want corruption, I want a main department, and I want influence. Those are the things I'm most interested in beating, uh, in doing well in. Corruption's kind of nice because I could get a bonus on other people's positions because of it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up, and the way you do this is you take, uh, I'm going to open up with some bribery. You take your $50,000, you slip it in your little thing, and you hand it to the person you want to hand it to and say, I'm interested in, and in this case, it's human resources. Now this guy wants corruption. He likes human resources too. I'm going to say on odds he'll take this for the corruption because that's a victory point, you know, gain. He's going to take the $50,000. For making the bribe at all, Green gets this. For accepting the bribe, yellow gets this. Yellow now gets the bribed human resources position. Which green does. Which may mean that yellow might move out of this position so they can resign from human resources director. Which would then kill that card. Or on the other hand, they could hold their kind of powerful position in human resources to get it next turn. That's green's action. We move to red. Red has development. They could steal an employee. Eh, it doesn't seem a terribly valuable thing at this time when I could hire two employees. I'm interested in shares, corruption, and counsel. Well, since I have the development, I am going to hire, uh, I'm going to find this here, I'm going to create departments and I'm going to create it out of new employees. I get an employee and a manager, which I can put wherever I like. If I put it here, if I put it here, it doesn't really change anything. If I put it here, I'm going to be in charge of accounting next time maybe, which sounds kind of cool. I can't get uh, a bonus on this because I wouldn't have the number of employees. So this seems like a good start for them. That's going to be what they do. This guy influence shares and corruption. Now I can get influence pretty easily by uh, removing people. Shh, corruption's always cool. Oh, no. I can bribe for the bribed uh, item. So I could try to take the human resources with another bribe. Um, I 
I kind of like bribing. Since I'm interested in shares, I'm going to put a bribe out for the accounting department. Now, I lost some money. And I'm just going to make that a $50,000 bribe for the accounting. And that puts me also on the corruption track. Now, this guy is not interested in corruption. He is interested in shares. He doesn't particularly want to lose a dude. But since he's interested in shares, he's going to refuse. Which means Black could turn this on someone else. And make someone else refuse as well, perhaps. Uh, on the other hand, if he really wants the sheriffs, he could boost his uh, bribe for that. Um, what else would he be interested in? If I go for a different one from him, it doesn't screw him automatically. Uh, even though I'm not terribly interested in it, I think I'm going to offer 50000 to Green for question is whether I want to offer for the chairmanship or the bribe. I'm going to offer it for the bribed counter. Now, Green could get themselves another corruption point off this. 50,000 is pretty low. We're going to be hitting blue over here. But Green will take that 50000 They're not thrilled about this. But they want the corruption chit. And they're not going to get another opportunity to get it right away. Um, and that's one reason why you do this. Now, Black had a failed, had a person fail to be bribed. Blue over here. So I'm able to fire a blue person. And I'm going to fire this blue person, uh, an employee, because I've got an interest in that line of uh, operations. Now we go over to yellow, main department corruption and council. I'm also interested in corruption. Mm -hmm. I like bribery. Bribery is very cool. Uh, main department is very cool. I'm going to put a $50,000 bribe or peanut bribe on green for the chairmanship. And green's going to take that. So both yellow and green go up in corruption. $50,000 changes hands. And he's got the bribed chairman. The reason this is cool is it allows him to build a new main department at the beginning of his next turn. Of course, the cost for it is this guy lost a department that he would get. Yeah, this is a he, uh, at the beginning of the next sequence. But that's okay. The chairman will be there. You, I don't think you can get rid of the chairman very easily. And now we go over to Blue. Blue's interested in shares, main department, and council. Uh, hmm. With accounting, I want to kind of see how the cards go, if I get any bonuses, and I'll get some cash. A main department probably means I want more people on the board. Uh, so my feeling is I either want to hire people, or I want to start a new department. I think I'm going to hire employees. That'll just give me two more employees. I can spread them out where I like. I'll put them both in accounting, though. And that wraps us around for the first card of the first round of cards. All right, so let's see what the second card brings us.
Now green is still going to be the first player for this entire round. And they put out the standard event bonus payment. Um, let me calculate them one person at a time. We'll start up here. No shares. Departments for yellow, one, two, three. So that's 300,000. No main departments. No members of the board. No chairman. I think it's a quick 300,000. Um, I'll step back. Well, what the hell we'll do this time, but I don't see. 300,000 for blue as well. None of the other things is in play for them. Green won 200,000, but the chairmanship, which boosts that up to 500,000. No other cards in play. Now they could have tried to increase their value, maybe a resignation here, but yeah, you don't want to uh, you don't want to skew things too much. Cash is not absolutely vital in the game. It's helpful at the end, especially for picking up some of these victory conditions if if you can win that way. But other than that, the only real purpose it serves is the bribes, which we've seen. Which usually, um, I feel, go fairly cheaply because there's the trade-off of getting a bonus corruption in addition to taking the bribe. And there's the threat of losing one of your employees. Early on, you don't want to do that. Um, the other thing that money's useful for, though, is these stock shares. And that's pretty big, actually. Um, it's hard to collect up a whole bunch of these enough to get a victory point thing, so having a, a decent amount of money for them. What players' positions represent in this game is completely nonsensical. I mean, like, the board isn't based on your stock holdings or anything like that. Uh, some of the actions don't even make much sense. Uh, this is just a, a pure abstract game with a theme pasted on. Uh, okay. Is this red? One, two... Three, four hundred thousand. No other bonuses. Make some quick change there. And black. One, two. Note I'm not counting the depart the divisional heads. So two hundred, three hundred and fifty thousand. And again, no other bonuses there. What this means is, to some extent, you could actually pay more in a bribe, but the cash is usually the least important part of the bribe. And now we're back to Green, who gets to take his actions uh, as to what he wants to uh, accomplish here. And let's see. We're doing okay. We've got the influence track, the corruption track. We're making some gains on those. We would like to make a move towards uh, collecting up main departments. That seems like a good plan. Now, to do that, we have a few different options. Um, I think maybe our best is to just start a new department. Although if we do, we could get shot down by that other guy. And I don't feel terribly safe with that situation, the development here. So I'm gonna hire myself a couple of laborers and put one in each department. So I don't want to just lose a department if I start a new one. Too much risk of that. Speaking of which, hey, somebody leaves an opening, I could take it, except that's me. So, what do I want to set up? Shares Corruption Council. Huh. I like corruption. I haven't done any corruption. So far, I'm not seeing any great value to this. Ooh! Controlling player would get a bonus based on motivation. So the blue player would get, for two extra offices, 
but the problem is the motivation is five or six, so there's no money. So now the controlling bonus is gone because this card has been used until the next round. So nobody's going to bribe for that particularly unless uh, the whole office, into, unless the whole division got wiped out in terms of uh, offices. Uh, so shares don't really seem like they're open to me. Corruption Council. What do I want to do with this red wench? Um, I could open a main office. I'm not terribly interested in those. However, I don't know that development's that terribly good a thing. And I am interested in console, but you know, I can boost those people later. Influence, I'm not terribly interested in. Uh, for now, I'm going to open up another place. Down here. And just see what happens there. Black. Black is interested in influence, shares, and corruption. Huh. Again, shares, I don't have the, any advantage right now to buying them. Influence is always interesting. Uh, I'm going to be getting some more of that shortly. Hard to tell where to go, you know? Uh, my special abilities, I could burn employees into influence. That's kind of cool. I have this bribed human resources, which means I get extra people. So I'm going to do a higher employees action, and that's going to give me one extra person because it's bribed. So I get three people instead of two. I'm going to open up an office. You get an extra person with that as well. So instead of the normal one, I get two, which gives me a little bit more strength in terms of what my office is going to look like. And I'll put it down here because right now I'm not in the lead there and I would like to get the accounting because I'm interested in shares. All right, let's look to yellow. Main Department Corruption and Council. Huh. Which my bribed ability, I'm going to be getting a main department. That's nice. Um, I don't want to put out a position right now. I could bribe. Uh, someone. Human resources, I could bribe for that. The problem is... As we get further down the deck, bribery becomes less and less valuable because you have less opportunities to use the bonus. Uh, but I think human resources could be worthwhile at this point. So I'm going to make an offer of 50000 for the bonus human resources. Now the problem I have is black is one of my competitors here. But to some extent, as long as I'm ahead of them, I'll be either staying that at that point ahead or gaining more. Now he's not really worried. He's worried about that doofus who is, oh no, that's me. Yeah, he's worried about yellow. So he doesn't want to fall behind. He took his human resource bonus this turn. He's going to take that $50,000 and give that away which is yellow and black go up. And it also means he doesn't lose a person, which is kind of nice. Over here for blue, blue, shares main department console. If I knew what was coming, I could judge better. Uh, I don't really have a good idea. I think what I want to do is higher. Uh, 
Yeah, well, I don't have that many extra people. I only have one extra person. I'm going to put extra people in my two departments. Eventually, you know, I'll be able to create a new department this way as I collect up people. So that works pretty well. And that moves us around. Let's do one more card this time. Event motivation. The board of directors holds a Christmas party. All employees are invited. Motivation would go up by one. Well, it's at the top, so that's not really an issue. This card does mean there's another a uh, an action for it, though. So now we're on green. Um, influence main department corruption. I'm in the lead in corruption, and I'm certainly above her. I'm in the lead in influence, but I may not stay there. Uh, and main departments, I'm not necessarily doing that well on. Hmm. Hard to tell what you want to do. I've got the lead in both of these things, human resources and communications, which is appealing. Uh, I think I'm just going to hire myself a couple of people. See, the problem is I know motivation's going to go down a little bit. I know how many cards I have here. I do care about corruption. Yeah. See, I don't want to boost too far in that, though. That's the problem. Because once I hit here, hey, I got my victory point for corruption. Then I got to worry about keeping ahead of her. But I'm ahead of her already. So I feel like I'm okay with that. I'm just going to hire a couple of workers. I don't think there's much to be gained of a bribe. Mm. See, it's uh, how much you want to build your board presence versus, you know how much you want to score in victory points. So I'm getting victory points if I bribe. And if I successfully bribe and get the human resources, I get more people than I would if I just build them now. So I'm going to go with the bribe. I'll put a 50,000, that seems to be the going rate, and tell Yellow, hey, I want to bribe you. Now Yellow uh, maybe doesn't feel as compelled to give in for 50,000. I could get more people here. So I'm going to say no. <laughs> and now it's up to Green. Do you want to bribe for a larger amount? Green's already boosted up one for trying to bribe. Green does not terribly want to go for a larger amount. So I want to bribe someone else perhaps. Or maybe go for this. Um, that's a main office. That's appealing. I don't know that there's any others that are terribly appealing. This could be nice bribed. All right. I'm going to go 50000 for black on a bribe. Now, black's interested in beating out yellow. So black's going to take that bribe and the 50000 and hand over legal and patents over here, which is kind of nice because this allows uh, green to get influence cheap, more cheaply. Okay, now yellow loses an employee and green gets to pick which employee that is a loss on. And we're going to take this one. Uh, no, uh, yellow loses an employee. We're going to take this one because it's closer. Uh, they're closer to ousting us or they're closer to getting keeping control of that. Oh, that puts it over to red. Shares corruption and console. You know, I'm interested in corruption. I'm not sure that I'm going to get a shot at the shares. If I do this. I think I'm going to go for the bribe route too. It, 
it's an interesting option, let's put it that way. So I'm going to offer $50,000 for accounting from Blue. Now how does Blue feel about this? Blue does not care about corruption one bit. Red does. Uh, and thinks 50000 may be a little too little. Um, can't be sure though because the motivation may not be in this deck. This guy didn't have any motivation cards to begin with and hasn't been going for any too badly. Although she did go for, uh, or he did go for, uh, the human resources. I think Blue's going to refuse that. So now Red has another option of some place to bribe. Uh, I could up the value or I could go for some other position. Um, I am going to offer the 50000 to Yellow for human resources. <laughs> Yellow's... Now, I'm going to boost that to 100000 And is Yellow going to take it? We can knock a blue piece off the board. This is red. Take this one off. Um, 100,000 for yellow's human resources. How do they feel about this? It would gain them the advantage on black. They're going to take it straight up. They think it's a good deal. And that goes here, and that means yellow moves up as well. Okay, that puts us to black. And there's this kind of race going on amongst uh, the bribees and bribers, because corruption is apparently fairly common on those uh, cards. Influences shares in corruption. Hmm. I don't know. Um, I have no abilities, which makes this a little harder. I could make a main office, and that would give me some influence. Or, I'm sorry, that would give me a main department, which is not something I'm really fighting for here particularly. But it is an easy victory condition. And it can keep you in control of something. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to create a main office by combining these two. That takes two away. See, I lose some some of my people if I do that. So I would no longer be in control of accounting and I'd like to keep that. So what the hell do I want to do? I'm interested in shares but well 200 I'm gonna buy two shares for two hundred thousand dollars. I don't like buying them when you don't have the card, but in this number of players, it seems like it's going to be hard to guarantee that you can get the card at any point to get the bonuses. And it's not like there are any bonuses right now. So I'm just going to throw those out. Those produce some extra money when the uh, accounting card comes up. Not that that's terribly helpful right now. Over here, Main Department Corruption Console for Yellow. I've got the corruption bonus. I don't have main departments and console. Well, human resources is a nice card, but I can always bribe for it. I'm going to create a main department here. Two people go away and I get a marker over on the main departments track. And the nice thing about that is I can hold on to the main department forever. That's never going to be taken away from me. Uh, 
which can be helpful. And these push forward. And that also means that I can retire from human resources taking the human resources card to flip over and I can either take a seat on the board or a council position in human resources, which is cool. Uh, shares main department or console. I'd love to buy shares, but I'm not getting a bonus, and I think I will later. It's very likely. Main department. I don't lose too much by taking a main department right now. In fact, if I take it over here in accounting, I have the lead, barely, because I've got five little guys. I've got two managers and five employees. He's got two managers and five employees, but I'm higher up. I'll discard my two, and I'll take myself a main department as well. And we've gone around. Let's do another one, I guess. Okay, the management has a spa installed on the board level. And this decreases motivation for the workers. And now red, or green, looks like red because it's got the red card on it. It always confuses me when I see things like that. But uh, green wants influence, main department, and corruption. Pretty good at influence, main departments. A lot of people are taking main departments. I like human resources a lot. Getting out of communications would suck, but I think it's worth something. So these are going to go here as these two disappear. And I can hold six in an area, so I'm okay. And I've just built a main department as well. This can get me some influence. Um, I should have done that. That's what I was set up for, but okay. Uh, we're at red. Red wants shares, corruption, and console. Huh. Well, I have this human resource bonus right now, and I'm going to take advantage of that. And I am going to start another department. And I get two because of my human resource bonus. Um, if I start a department down in accounting, I get it for next time, unless something changes. So that seems appealing. Over here to black, influence shares and corruption. Well, I like shares. Influence and corruption. I like influence. I have no things. I could bid for something, and there are things that are worth bidding for still. Um, the chairman, for example, is worth bribing for because that doesn't come into play yet. And likewise, communications gives an extra action. That's kind of worth bribing for. Um, and communications you can probably get for free. Your opponent probably doesn't care about that. So yeah, I'm going to do a bribe for the communications at 50000 and Green is willing to give that up. He doesn't really lose any ability for that. So black and green each go up a corruption. We get over here to yellow. What am I supposed to do? I think I'm going to retire, right? I have the bribe chairman, that's okay. I'm going to retire this guy. Now he's interested in corruption, he's interested in counsel. I'm going to put him in the human resources space here. I may eventually want to get influence track spaces, but right now this is important to me and it just gave me the first place in that. So actually, main department, this is yellow. I'm ahead of black in that. I'm not ahead in corruption, but I'm ahead here, so I'm close to getting a victory point already off beating someone. The problem is that's a flexible target. These others are all 
uh, fixed. And now blue, well, shares mean department and council. Hmm. None of those are terribly appealing at this point. I'm behind here. What I could do is start two more, one or two more departments. I'm going to move a set. Let me look at how this is worded. Creating departments, create one or two with your own employees, at least two employees per, one of which becomes head, and then, yeah, so, I'm going to move three here, one, two, three, four, where do I want this? I'll put them over in legal. Alright, and in both cases, I get a new manager in place. And this doesn't give me legal, but this closes me out on controller and gives me the advantage there for now. Oh, uh, I believe that put us around, so we're back on green. And I to give myself a little rest. All right, let's keep looking. Another card, another motivation decrease. These are fun to read, at least once. According to company statistics, the majority of employees are very satisfied with the management. Motivation decreases by one. Um, the problem here is I kind of have to go play by play with a game like this. I've said this with other games of this nature. There's just no story behind it. All that you're worried about, it's like watching a card game being played, you know? You're worried about the actual plays being made rather than any kind of real strategic planning going on or anything of the nature. It's not like you can't have strategic planning, it's just it's all so, hmm, in the moment. Well, there's no picture on the board that's really clear to look at. I mean, I can look at the tracks and I can look at these, but that's it. Anyway, I'm wasting time here on a video that's going to go too long anyway. As I think the next card's the meeting. I don't know for sure. Um, influence main department corruption. This is green. Green's a corruption. He's got an influence. His bonus here is this bribe. He can dismiss two employees for two influence. Well, I bought this. I ought to use it. So I'm going to dismiss two employees and grab two influence. And that gets me a good way on my influence, which is one of my, you know, special goals as well. <clears throat> uh, red here. Shares corruption console. Well... Corruption's not terribly valuable at this point, unless I'm going to take something like the chairman or the communications, just because I, I know that the deck could end at any time now. Uh, I've got my bribe already. I could also steal an employee if there was someone other than me who was sitting on a single. I'm going to collect... Uh, my human resources, and I'm at four, so I only get one additional one. Just three guys. I'm red. I want to fill out these shit places where there's only one. And this would give me a little bit of padding, but I don't really need that. Here I've got three. It's unlikely anybody's going to beat me there easily. Here I could get into a tie with everyone else. I don't know how much help that really does for me. So I'm going to put it over here where the padding is, I guess. Uh, black. Influence shares corruption. Hmm. Getting influence next turn. 
I picked up some shares. I'm not getting anywhere there. What's my bribe? It's the communications, which it doesn't play yet. Uh, influence. Huh? Well. One, two, three tracks that I'm working on, plus my fourth, my my enemy. Uh, I don't really want to put too much into other into other uh, venues at this point. I've lost here, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a main department. And that loses me two more dudes. Pushes these forward. I could have moved it, I guess, but uh, I don't know why I wanted to do that. I didn't want to do that. I don't know where it was. Oh well, it's too late. Uh, I yeah, I really don't want to do that. I, I think I was back like this. Okay, I do not want a main department. What I want to do is I want to get out of legal and patents. And I'm allowed to restructure by relocating one or two main departments. Uh, or a main department. Uh, one or two departments or a main department. If I restructure out of here, then I can resign that position. Yeah, but I'm in the top there. I don't want to do that either. Jeez. I'll just hire some employees. That's always a useful task. Put some extra there. Right. Actually, I'll put them both in here just to flood that. All right, over here. He's bribed. He can't use this. Oh. Human resources resigned. Ah, this should be upside down, and he couldn't. She couldn't get the thing that she got extra, and that might make it not a good move for her. I don't remember where I even placed it. I guess it was here. I think she wants the extra people though, just to fill in those spaces. So okay. Um, this is a hard game to play solo. Uh, over here, that's yellow, not black. <sighs> uh, so his ability doesn't help him. He wants main department. Part of the problem is you're making so many decisions in a tight cycle. It's like playing a fucking card game. It's not like, you know, where you get to move a bunch of things and, and do something and have a real, you know, idea for your turn. You're just constantly acting. I'll do this, I'll do that, I'll do that. You know, it's not interesting to watch on video, and I shouldn't be playing games like this on video, but at least it gives you some idea what it's like. Uh, it plays more fun with real people. Okay. So main corruption and council for yellow. I've worked on my main corruption, I'm working on console. Uh, I would kind of like to get a new department. So I'm going to hire, and that's going to get me development in my hands, which, you know, at least it does me some good in some level, I think. And then over here, shares, main department, console. <coughs> well, I have accounting. It's not low enough yet, and I'm going to hold on on that. Shares, main department, and console. Uh... I could create a main department here, and that would do me some cool stuff, I think. Because I'd still be in control. Let's do that. I lose two laborers, but I gain one on the main department. Okay, and now we flip to the last. 
and it is the director's meeting, which means we've essentially moved to another turn. What we're going to be doing on this one then, well, um, we go through the process on these, dismissing the chairman, electing a new chairman. But before we do the dismissing the chairman, we get to take uh, the effects for the chairman. So the bribed effect for chairman takes place, and the uh, bribed effect for communications take place. So a couple extra pieces get played uh, at the end of that. All right, let's send this one up, and you know I'll keep trying to play it on video, but. Honestly, I don't mind playing this solo. It's doing it on video that's hard to do. Uh, I think I would actually enjoy this solo, but it's really hard to face these kind of games uh, on video.